If you've ever driven by a house or walked by a house and wondered what it looks like on the inside, I've had that same feeling even though I do this all the time. This is actually one of those houses. So this house, I saw it as it was being built and I kept, I kept asking myself like, what in the world, what is it going to look like? Um, and I had an opportunity to pop inside and I'm going to show you around in just a second. So this place was designed and built by Amaro Design and they can build you one. There's a good chance this is probably be sold um, by the time you view this video on YouTube. Um, so I'll show you sort of um, the thought process that went into this design and they can build you one. You know, they can design, she can help you design a house and build something of your own. Um, it's just amazing. So first we'll walk around the outside. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, it's over 6,000 square feet total. There are a number of bedrooms, a number of bathrooms. There's basically two primary suites on the inside and there's a, there's a old bomb shelter below. So you, you have to stick around and check that out. So um, right here, so you're all fenced in. So a lot of times in Michigan, you cannot have fenced lots, but in areas like Birmingham, you can. In most cases you can. So sometimes people have like a forced fence situation where you have a pool. This is not one of those situations. So you have dimensional shingles here, which I think look great. So they're dark along with all the dark trim. These black windows, a little peek on the inside. You're gonna love the inside of this. I don't know you, but I have a feeling you're going to like it a lot. So you have this patio here. And in Birmingham, you, you don't have a lot of really big lots but this lot is it's good enough it's big enough you could have a little play structure or something back here if you wanted to a little uh, fire pit area like the neighbors have a little fire pit area over here um, when they designed this it is again pretty big so you have two ac units and a whole home generator so if the power goes out this thing kicks on and powers it up so enough about that let's go see the inside They actually just recently um, had it all staged, so it's looking really good. So you have the entrance here, so this goes to your garage. So you do have a two, two and a half car garage, and then this goes to your mudroom here. See me here? Um, that comes into your mudroom. I love this, the um, like the raw wood look. Oh, it's so cool. There's two little, two little pathways here. I love the landscaping. I love the exposed aggregate. And if you look at this, a couple rocking chairs, little patio furniture out here. It's just, it's beautiful. Let's take a look. So I love this. Um, I love the entryway here. That right there, I love, I love the clean lines. I love the black lines there. So you do have a half bath right when you walk in. It's cool, you've got the floating vanity there. Tall closet with built-in storage. For your stuff, your guest stuff. Look at this. Come on, this is awesome. So I have a toddler at home and this would not be great for me. Um, it depends on if your kids like to touch things, like mine are you know, all very handsy. So this, this right here, um, I, I, like walking in from that door and then popping around to this is amazing. I know I say the word amazing a lot, I am aware. Um, you have the under cabinet lighting here, so it's like everything's floating. The wolf range, look at that. But just being able to entertain, I like look at these, these are awesome. Um, in a space like this. So this is all rigged up so that you could have, you could put like a hutch here, you could have lighting up here if you wanted to, so you could have art lighting or just have like a hutch. The dining space here, and I just like it, like I like, the, the wide open feel of this and that, like it's, it's a substantial piece and it just, it works in this space. 
Uh, we're gonna take a look behind that wall in just a second. We're gonna go over here first. So you have the mud room. So that is where we first met and we talked a little bit. Um, so you have a little bench, you take off your shoes or whatnot when you're coming in from the garage. So they did epoxy coat. They like didn't skimp on anything in this house. Like everything is like perfect. Like nothing is cheap. Um, so you have the epoxy coated garage floor. Come in here, this little decking that's built up. So, you know, you're not like, you know, trying to climb into the house. That's not cool. And then, check this out. How, let's count these seats. One, two, three, four, five. Seating for five? Get out of town. And this, look at this. You can like see what's going on in here. Love it. So this, I love this. Like I always call these like the crock pot zone or whatever. Everybody brings over some food to, like for your housewarming party. Like put it here, put it here, put it here. You've got the switches. Why not do it? You know, keep all the, keep all the mess and muck out of sight and just close it off. Or like, you know, turn it into a bar. You do you. I love the Wolf appliances because you know, it's in my name, you know? Of course I've got to like, I like Wolf stuff. Oh, you got Sub-Zero, whatever. Anytime I think of Sub-Zero, you know I think Mortal Kombat. Okay, so now we are going to go, we'll go this way first. So this is, I, I call it primary suite number one. Uh, before we get there, I'll just show you that there is a closet right outside the door. Um, so this, to me, it feels like there is two primary suites. There's one upstairs, I'll show you that, but like almost every bedroom in this house has a full bathroom, except for one. You'll, you'll see that. So you've got um, a fireplace here. Look at that. Like it's just, it's framed perfect. It's perfect. Like the thought that went into this is just, it's, it's nice. It's really nice. So you've got two closets, two walk-in closets. So this is the first one. So if my wife and I were buying this, this would be my closet because it's like dark and it's smaller. Uh, so my stuff would fit in here and hers probably would not because she has much more stuff. Okay, so you do have a laundry that is just for this room, which is nice, um, or whatever. It could be for everyone if you wanted it to be. There's no rules, it's your world. Okay, so we have another, another floating vanity here. You've got me talking to you. And then this situation here, which I love. So you've got the soaker tub. I'd climb in it right now, but I would definitely break something. And the three, um, what do we want to call these? Why am I I'm drawing a blank here? So you've got the, the water or the rainfall, then you have like a standard and then you have the wand. Um, this is super cool. Uh, looks dangerous. I mean like, I think a final destination, but I love it. Look at these, like everything in here is cool. It's like each piece uh, was well thought out which I can appreciate. So this is the bigger of the two closets. Um, again, this would be my wife's. This would be, this would be my wife's if, uh, if we bought this place. So let's see here. Now, let's take a trip upstairs first. So I'll show you the bedrooms upstairs, and then I'll show you the finished basement with the old bomb shelter. So the bomb shelter was put in when the original home was built. So the original home was knocked down and they put a bomb, and they didn't put a bomb shelter in. They put a new house on top and the bomb shelter is still below. So right at the top of the stairs here, so you're looking down and out, uh, you have a full size proper laundry room. So you have a lot of area here if you wanna fold clothes or whatnot. You have bins for laundry, whites and darks or lights and darks, a sink a nice sink it's not like a plastic tub and you have areas for like detergents and things which is nice over here good size room, really good size room so this one has a shower it doesn't have a tub um but it's a big shower really big shower let's get inside here let's see come with me what do you think yeah it'll work i could do that so the flooring. So this is, this is, um, it's not laminate, so that's good. Like I'm not a huge fan of laminate flooring. This is another good size closet. A lot of built-ins. This way. 
So this is the one bedroom without a bathroom. So it is all wired up, so you could put a TV there if you wanted to. It just looks out onto the, onto the road below. Lots of storage, like, that's very particular storage, right? Like it's, you wouldn't be hanging anything up there, but you could use it as like a music room or something. That would be great. Put like a bunch of records there, a record player, TV, like a little lounge area. Nice, love it. Uh, we will go into this room. So the other, uh, what I'm calling the other primary suite is over there, we'll go there in just a second. Do so you have another walk-in closet? So this would be perfect for like a big family. So if you've got kids that are a little older, perfect. This one does have a tub where the other one doesn't. Um, Built-in storage, some frosted glass so that nobody's peeking in when you're, you know, doing your business. And let's see here. Let's go over here. Look at this closet. I think. So it's hard to it's hard to say that this wouldn't be a primary suite because you could have you could have in-laws living on the you know downstairs or whatever whatever you want to do. Um, it's just a lot of space. Like an adult child could live up here. I think that'd be fine. And I wouldn't give this to like my 13 year old. It'd be too much space. So you've got two sinks, um, another soak soaker tub, and then again you have the three water fixtures. So you've got another rain head, a standard, and a wand. At least this time they're black. These texture walls. This is tile, but like it's cool. Look at that. It almost looks like, I don't know, like, like paper. Very cool. And it, I like that it, it flows, so it, it continues just the length of this, and then you have a different, a different tile, but the same format. So you have the same size, but it's a different finish here. So it's just like a smooth, and then you have this rough all in the back. I think it looks very cool. Water closet. Good space, right? So it's already wired up for a TV or whatnot. I don't know what else you would put there. Um, now let's go and check out the basement. The first time I toured this house, um, that was the first thing I saw was this basement. And then I did a quick Instagram reel of it because I was amazed by it. I thought it was really cool. The bomb shelter's over there, but we're gonna go over here first. So this is built on the original foundation of the home. So your, your ceiling height is not as tall as some newer builds where you have like 10 foot ceilings and things like that. So this is about seven or eight, I'm six foot two. Uh, you do have an egress window here just means you can get out. Um, you would need one of those in a room if you're gonna call it a bedroom. So if you ever wanted to box something in, it would need to be here, or you just make another egress window over in that gym area. You have this is your wine room, right? You can keep all your wine here, and keep the lights on, it look all cool. You have a fire extinguisher, just in case you have flammable wine. It's crazy, I don't know what you're doing with flammable wine. So you've got this bar area here. So it is slightly lower here. It's not terribly bad, but I really like the detail work here. I like this textured ceiling here that you have. And there's really no way to avoid this because you have your, your duct runs here. Um, another bathroom. So this is a full bathroom that somebody can use. And a gym. So get your Peloton in here. Peloton tread, if you like working out, or whatever, you do you. The bomb shelter. You've got this metal door. I mean, it's about as creepy as it gets, right? So that is like an epoxy paint. The ceilings are pretty low, and that's an air pump. So there's an old air pump down here. And I just hit my head. That's a metal beam. Do I 
brighten it up. So what do you think? Do you like this house? I love this house. I love the way it was designed. I love the way that it was laid out. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And if you'd like to build something like this, let me know. Um, I work with this designer and we can, we can figure something out, we'll put you in touch. We'll, we'll, uh, we can even help you get it financed if you wanna build something like this or smaller or bigger, you know, whatever you wanna do. <laughs>